Hi guys, uh, FJMGV here and uh, I've had some problems with my mouse for the last couple of weeks. I have the RAT7 uh, mouse, uh, it's quite expensive and uh, I was quite a, I was really disappointed. There's a software online called AutoHotKey that can fix that for you, but um, in my case that didn't work. Um, uh, it, it just didn't work for me. So for those people who has the same problem, you can fix it yourself actually. Um, I've created this little um, application um, just to detect the amount of clicks. So uh, when I click on this grey box, one click, it will count the left clicks. Um, if I do a middle mouse button on this grey, it will do middle, right, but you get it. Um, so this is one mouse click so I'm just gonna do one left mouse click um, okay that one worked two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so as you can see um, it it does a double click sometimes um, so I even though if I just do one click it, sub um, it double clicks for some reason um, Okay, now I'm going to do a middle mouse. The middle mouse is a bit more broken in that way, if I can say it like that. Um, because when I do a one click, it will do like three sometimes. So this will be one uh, middle mouse click. Um, one. See? Uh, th that one did two. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's even worse. Um, my right click, though, it's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My right click is fine. So if you want to fix this problem, um, I'm gonna switch over to disassembling the the Rat Seven and uh, and putting a little bit of oil on the mouse buttons, and uh, and then I'm gonna put it back and see if it if it's working properly. Okay, cool. And I'll be I'll be here right now. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take out this side panel on this side using this just like that. Then I'm going to undo that and boom. There we go. Then we want to turn the mouse upside down. And if you look here, in there, there's a screw right there. You can see that little white dot. And uh, one's right here. And we remove that so that we can see this one right here. So we're going to undo that one. And boom. So <clears throat> now, let's put all the screws the way I took them out so that, because they're not the same size. So as you can see, these two look looks the same though. Um, so yeah, this one came from here. This one there. That one there. Okay. We flip it back, right up, and we can just use this. So this is now one piece from there. This. And that whole piece there, so the whole top will come off. Um, you just have to like keep on pulling, if I can show, under there, there, under that, that opening. You just pull up. It come off. Um, not too difficult, but don't worry, you won't break anything. There's no cables connected to the top or whatever. Uh, yeah. We know that's um, one piece, so we just lift. Um, in my case, it's it, it was pretty easy, just like this. There we go, just like that. Now, we will see, there's the right button. You will see a little thing there. The wheel is like underneath, right there. I hope. There's a little red little wheel button right there underneath as you can see um, there, right there. It's like a little red dot 
but the wheel is um, on top so I can't really show the the button but it looks just like this white just red <clears throat> but my middle mouse button was completely broken when I middle mouse three four clicks and the left mouse sometimes just double clicked um, when I single click so when I yeah that was pretty annoying the, um, the all purpose oil will fix this um, trust me I've tried it this this really works um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna put some some of the oil on the buttons but we like a whole drop don't be afraid of putting too much oil I've had um, like five drops drop on this button and nothing happened I just took off some some of the excess oil using a but to just suck up most of the oil and uh, and there should not be a problem just make sure you don't really yeah don't put oil here please so the idea is ah sorry let me just put some some uh, it's kitchen paper actually um so i don't want to waste all this white paper that i've put here so I'm just gonna make sure there's a drop coming out first. There we go. Now I'm gonna drop another drop right on the button like that. See, it looks like too much, but just click it. So I'm just clicking. As you can see, so that the some of the oil can get in. And then I use a piece, like a little piece of this, to just suck up the excess, excess um, oil, just like that. Cool. See. I'm also gonna do it for our left click because my left click really screwed up. And uh, first thing, I'm gonna drop my drop make sure there we go and then I'm gonna drop another little oh that was missed see I've uh, missed completely like an idiot now I'm just gonna draw up that just just not to have it all in there you know uh, and yeah boom no not there with my mouse thing just gonna go away yes again let me let me try again uh, I'm gonna drop my drop. Then I'm gonna go back. Put it on my little button. I'm gonna click. Okay, cool. There we go. I'm gonna tear over a little piece here and I'm just gonna draw it up. There we go. Middle mouth. This is quite easy actually. This is the easiest of them all. We want to... <clears throat> I just want to put it on this little wheel, this little piece of metal. Boom. And it will fall onto the button. And, oh, sorry, we can just click it like that. Cool. And, uh... For this, I make like a longer one that I can reach in there. You can see, it will suck it up. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, there we go. There we go. Cool. I think that's uh, that's it. So you may have trouble getting the top of your mouse back on where they belong. Um, because uh, my first time I really had problems with that. So let me just show you. Um, you can see that piece and that piece. It's like sticking out of the body. And in here, in the front, you can see them right there and there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 
the top first. Let's try it from the side. That just a bit of, of the oil. I'll just wipe off the mouse later. Um, so you just put on the top, you press down, you'll hear like a little click, like you did, and you press it down with, with your hand. Um, this little piece here will prevent you, so just help it in there, and so, so like you will hold the mouse, just press it down, and there you go. It's, it's in, it's, it's back in place, and assembled. And new. <clears throat> Already inserted all the screws. As you can see even the side panel right here. And yeah, let's uh, plug it back in and see if the double clicking problem is fixed. I'm back and uh, <clears throat> so after, so the mouse is still working, that's good. Um, uh, so I'm going to do a left click and see if this works now. Um, uh, left click, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That works pretty good. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Uh, middle mouse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's perfect. Uh, right mouse, still working. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. And uh, that's it. I think that's the end of this video. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope that it helped some of you um, fix your own mouse without spending thousands of dollars or maybe hundreds of dollars actually um, to fix it. Um, so, okay, okay. Cool. Cheers. Bye.